Hi all, and welcome to our quick start guide for Palia's Hotpot game. If you are confused with how exactly the new Hotpot game at the Luna New Year Maji Market works, here are all the basics you need to know. Hotpot can be played with up to three other players. Once you interact with a hotpot, there's a 1 minute and 30 seconds countdown timer, and if three other players join before that, the game starts immediately. Empty player spots will be filled up by villager NPCs. The goal of the game is to collect three sets of three cards, and only some combinations count. Option 1 is three cards with the same ingredient. This is called a three of a kind set. It could be three garlic from the orange category, three mountain morels from the purple, and so on. These will always be of the same color as ingredients are unique to each color category. Option 2 is three cards of the same color and with three different ingredients. This is called a category set. It could for instance be a mountain morel, bright shroom and what looks like enoki mushrooms. Same color but three different ingredients. Whoever is the first to collect three of either sets will win and the game will automatically end. This could be three three of a kind or three category sets or any combination of the two. Now, how do you play? Who gets the first turn is random and each player has up to 30 seconds to make their move. Each player starts with 8 cards. Take a good look at what you have and what could potentially create a set. When it's your turn, you have to draw a card from the center of the table. Should all the players have had turns before you, you can also draw a card from their discarded piles. Cards from the center pile are a blind draw you don't know what you get. But if none of the other players' piles have any good cards for you, it might be the best option. Once you've drawn a card, it gets added as the ninth card to your set. Should this card by any chance be the card that completes a third set for you, the game ends automatically and you win. If not, you need to decide if you want to keep it or discard it. If you keep it, you need to discard one of your other eight cards, which then becomes an available option for the next player. By the way, there's a quick selection menu in the bottom right corner of your screen. This exit icon allows you to leave the game at any time. If you leave an ongoing game, a villager will automatically replace you. Leaving a game before it ends also means you won't get any rewards. The question mark icon shows you a mini tutorial for the hotpot game. And the two magnifying glass icons let you see your own set of cards while drawing a card from the center and an overview of previously discarded cards at the table, which might give you hints as to what players collect. These are the basics, so let's quickly talk about rewards. No matter who wins, everyone will get rewarded the combined table point score, and the winner also gets bonus points. The better the table did, the more points and currency everyone gets. All points are converted to lucky envelopes, one for one. So how are rewards calculated? Three of a kind sets are worth 120 points, and category sets are worth 60 points. The winning hand bonus is the points total of the winner's sets. Three quick tips before we wrap up. It's possible to play alone, but villager NPCs rarely create sets, so your table score will be low. It's best to play with others. The time for games during the active Magi market is limited, and nobody wants them to last forever. So try to play quick during your turns if possible. More games, more rewards. You can start a game just before 3 am when the market ends and are allowed to finish even if the market is over. And that's all for this guide. If you'd like to see more content from us, please don't forget to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.